Hey, Cocoa Beans. Uh, uh, hey, Mama. Um, can I use you as a contestant for one of my tricks that I learned? Sure, baby girl. You know Mama is always your number one fan. You see, that's why you're my favorite Mama. <laughs> I'm your only Mama. Oh, that's true. <laughs> okay, sit right here. All right, let me get comfortable. So what's the trick? Uh, I've been practicing hypnosis. Girl, that stuff does not work. Oh no, it's a process, but it definitely works. Okay, I'll play along. No, mama, this is serious. Now please close your eyes and follow my commands. <sighs> okay, if you say so. Okay, here we go. You are a goat on a boat next to a big float. You need a coat, but you stay woke. What in the world? Shh, mama, focus. Okay, okay. There you go. All right, here we go. You are a goat on a boat next to a float. You need a coat, but you stay woke. Kalamazoo, Kalamazam, Kalamazoo, Kalamazam. You are under my trance. Anything I say, you will do, because I'm Coco and I rule you. Okay, that's right, Mama. Continue to do as I say. Under my command, you will drift away. Now fly. Fly, fly. Fly, birdie, fly, birdie, fly, fly, fly. Dance. Hey. Hey, go mama, go mamas, hey, go mamas. Stop. Okay, I got it. Do the Macarena. Ready? Go. One and a two and a three Macarena, four and a five and a six Macarena, seven, eight, nine Macarena. Hey, Macarena, go to the beach, mama. Hey, mama, 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 Go, go, go. Run, mama, run, mama, run, 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 fat. Ooh. Uh, 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 mama, uh, are you okay? <laughs> okay, you're clucking. Good. That means yes. Okay, now get up and come over here with me. I have some questions for you. Right there. Just stay right there. Okay, cool. Mama. Mm. Ari and Rhea have been saying for a long time that I'm not yours. Was I adopted? Never mind, I don't want to know because I am yours and your heart is my home. Now wake up. Coco, I told you this wasn't going to work. Why am I down here? Because you were under my hypnosis. No, I wasn't. Uh, yes, you were. And you actually still kind of are because it doesn't wear off completely for the next 12 hours. Now cluck. <laughs> what is happening? What you do? <laughs> A hypnotist never tells his tricks. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no no. Hey, hey, thanks for tuning in with another episode of Let's Talk About It with the Girl B. Christian. Okay, on today's episode, we are in the house with Mama and Coco. Hello, ladies. Oh, look at Coco. You are so cute. Thank you. Oh, and a lot of energy. Okay, I see you. <laughs> well, Mama, thanks again for letting us enter your home. It is beautiful. Um, if you guys are not familiar with our guests, I'm so honored to have them on. I'm so excited. This is Mama and Coco. They are the stars of Just Being Coco, okay? They have almost 700,000 subscribers. Um, uh Coco, not not just Coco, whatever. All right, it's okay, Coco. She almost had it. Yeah, but almost doesn't count. All right, stop it. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, check by the little diva. Coco, just being Coco. And if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe. So now let's get into this first question. So, what is it like being on set? 
Well, we kind of have pretty long days on set. So first we come in and we just kind of read through the scripts and then we'll just kind of start filming, you know, whether it's an episode or a short. Yeah, and yeah, then... yeah. And, and they, sorry, my excuse me. Okay. Uh, they give us a lot, a lot of snacks mm -hmm. and everything and mm -hmm. I eat them all up. But mama says don't eat too many because it makes my belly hot. I do. I do say that. You shouldn't have that many snacks. I shouldn't, but, but sometimes I do. She, she does. She yeah, does. but, but yes. <laughs> okay, who doesn't love snacks? Get it. Okay, so how old are you, Coco? I, I'm sorry, ma'am. Just one thing I wanted to say about being on set. A lot of times we have to keep starting over because Mama keeps meshing up. Uh, okay, no, I do not, Coco. I, I don't. Look, stop talking about all that and tell her how old you are. Oh, uh, I'm nine. Mm. How old are you, Mama? Oh. What? Mama? I already know, girl. You don't have to answer that. So, moving right along. Mama, is it hard getting Coco to film? Well, you know, sometimes it is because Coco likes to stay up late, so she doesn't like to get out the bed in the morning. But once we get her up and ready to go, she's good to go. Go! I'm ready to go! Go, 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 <laughs> go, Coco! Go, Coco! Go, Coco! <laughs> No. Okay. Ooh, Coco will take you there. All right. So let's keep it rolling. What is one of your favorite episodes? Uh, I like uh, episode one where I said, Mama, I pee in the bed. And then I like the um, one that <clears throat> um, that I was doing my math homework and Mama breath stink. It, I'm sorry, Mama. Not anymore because you do the mints now. Um, and then I also like the one where um, that I was playing the piano. Mm hmm those are great episodes. I guess mine would have to be uh, the episode at the church. Um, Coco did embarrass me a little bit, but we really enjoyed that episode. I also enjoyed the Puerto Rico episode. Mama, she said just one. What's your favorite one? So, but you yeah. just your favorite one? Yeah. That that would be mine. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, um, when you're not filming, what do you like to do for fun? I, I'm sorry, Mama. You can go oh, Okay. Well, thank you so much. Um. You know, we kind of just like to check out some vegan restaurants in the area and um, just try new things. Uh, Coco likes to shop a little bit, so we'll go do that too. Yeah, um, I really, really like to just be with my mama. Oh, that's so sweet. Coco. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we would like to learn a little bit more about you. So what is your favorite color, Coco? Um, let's see. I really like mustard yellow. Yeah, and I like black and olive green. Oh. Yeah, what you like, Mama? Um, I like olive green, mustard yellow, and sunburnt orange. Wow, those are descriptive colors. Okay, family. All right, so when's your birthday? Well, my birthday just happened to be April 1st, mm -hmm. which is April Fool's Day. It is. I wonder why I was born that day. Mm -hmm. No telling. <laughs> What's yours, Mama? Uh, my birthday is January 1st. Oh, New Year's Day! Mm -hmm. Okay, first place, both of y'all. <laughs> so your fans would like to know, um, where were your sisters at for so long? Well, um, since I happen to be the favorite. Okay. <laughs> I have a favorite. I love all my children equally. So Ari and Rhea are in special programs at school, so they had to study abroad temporarily, but they're back now. They're back. But are they back for good? Yes, they are back for good. Coco, put your gum away. That's nasty. Sorry. That is so good, though. Okay, you must be happy, Coco. So you're nine years old. What is it like being famous? Um, I don't really realize that I'm famous or think about it until I go to school. And then I see people and they're like, hey, Coco. And I'm like, hey, you know, they're just like, oh, we saw you on that show. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's me. I'm Coco. Coco to me. Coco, that's me. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, Coco, just get Coco, got it. Um, where's Dad? Where's your husband been? Oh, I really miss him. He's my best friend. Yeah, all the kids miss him, and I do too. I, I miss him more. Okay, well, Dad is actually a, a lot, lot more. Okay. He's away in the Army, and um, but we're always happy when he comes home and we get to spend time with him. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so now listen. Everybody wants to know. 
who is playing Coco? Is Mama and Coco the same person? How we doing this? How y'all? How is this happening? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's actually a really great question because we get that a lot. We are two different people. I'm me. And I'm me. And I'm me. And separate people. <laughs> okay, so y'all straighten that out. Did y'all get that? They are two separate people. All right, so last question. What's next for Coco? Um, well, according to the creator, she gave me some secrets that I probably shouldn't say, but she's working on a cartoon and a book and a Coco doll for each of you to have one of me at your house by Christmas. <laughs> and not me, though, because I'm going to stay with my mama. But, but, the, but I'm, yeah, you get it. <laughs> and we'll be filming a lot more episodes, so we hope you all stay along for the ride and subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe. We're working on getting to a milli because right now we're almost at hunt seven honey. Oh, that is so exciting, Coco. Well, I speak for everybody, and I know the rest of the world is waiting for those things to unfold for you. I cannot wait to tune in to cartoons and buy dolls, etc., etc. <sighs> Unfortunately, let's talk about it, fans. We are out of time. Thank you so much, Coco and Mama, for having us in your home. We had a blast. Um, before we get out of here, though, I do want to give you guys the opportunity to just say something to the world. Let them know what you want us to talk about or keep in our hearts. Thank you all so much for being fans, and thank you for having us today. We really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you so much. We love you so much. Don't forget to wash your feet, be your best, and laugh a lot. And don't forget to subscribe, okay, guys? We almost there to a milli. Love you from the Coco Just Be a Coco uh -huh. Show. That was Let's Talk About It with B. Christian. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe.